All right, um, this is the fifth installment of my video blog, um, and it's it's going along um, reasonably well. Uh, you'll notice that in the last uh, the last episode, the volume was really low, and I figured out what the problem was: is that I had turned down the volume um, at the request of my nephew in um, a uh, ventrilo session uh, just the other night. And what that did was that um, affected it, it affected the volume of the microphone and universally. So it ended up suppressing it a little bit. I'm hoping that this is a little bit better. Um, anyhow, I wanted to talk about a video that I just uploaded called Texas or Transvergence. And this was part of a project that I did with Switch uh, at the Cadre Laboratory for New Media with uh, Michael Weisert and uh, Ethan Miller. And this video was actually shot in uh, Austin, Texas in 2005 for the South by Southwest Interactive uh, Festival. And um, what it is, is it's a series of questions that we tried to apply to, uh, we tried to find a diverse population within the attendees and tried to ask them all of the same questions in the hopes of finding something that sort of overlapped them. And the interviews were really very, a great deal of fun, and everyone was very gracious. Um, and in fact, but they, I mean, but they, in the end, the question is, well, what did it accomplish, or what did we end up finding out? And I guess you just have to sort of watch it to see that. I mean, the other thing is that you have to realize that this is also just a small part of the project, but that it represents a certain aspect of it. And in looking at sort of the, the festival itself, and looking at the people who presented there and what they had to say and what their interests were and what they viewed as sort of the important tools and methodologies that allowed them to do their work. So um, overall I wanted to say that I, I really think that I like this but I have a tendency to like the, uh, the sort of video that um, lets us understand and, and uh, get to know people a little bit better. Um, but I also thought that the, the opera at the end by Mark Cantor was really amazing. Um, I don't think it's, I mean, I don't think it's any, uh, opportunity for him to give up his day job. And in fact, I think that you may find that we have one of the only, uh, genuine copies of the Mark Cantor operas online. But, um, but it was still, I mean, it was still quite entertaining and it really sort of fit in with the whole theme. Um, I've also been watching, well, there's a future salon coming up with uh, John Taylor Gatto, and I've been, so I've been watching this 20, uh, this 20 film series on YouTube, which is just incredible, um, and uh, I think that he's really sort of nailed a lot of um, the way that the, uh, the current educational system is set up to support in an industrial society and um, to sort of like encourage this sort of hegemonic view, uh, this sort of view of authority and this view of the way that we get information and it, how terribly, terribly outdated it is. Um, it's interesting if you watch all 20 of these videos that there's this certain point in there where it just becomes very conspiratorial and it seems like he's almost like, you know, Robert Anton Wilson talking about the Illuminati. Um, but then he manages to sort of reel it back in again. And um, I can imagine that he's not very popular in certain circles. Um, but I, I don't think that there's really any denying um, the observations that he makes. I mean, he's an, been an educator for 30 years and, um, I mean, really understands uh, the school systems of the time. So anyways, I hope to be able to attend that and maybe bring some, uh, some further information from that. And, um, well, I guess that's it for tonight. So, uh, enjoy the show and make sure you check out, uh, Texas or Transvergence. Thanks.